Welcome everyone! The first step to access your laptop, either Windows or Mac, from iPhone is you will need to, on the iPhone, download the TeamViewer app. This is completely free. Then we need to move to our laptop. Moving to the computer, you want to head over to the TeamViewer website and we will need to download TeamViewer right here. There is a download for both Windows and Mac available, as you can see. And you even have Linux and Chrome as well. Once the Team Viewer is downloaded, we will need to open up the Team Viewer, and you just need to follow the on-screen instructions to install the Team Viewer onto your computer. If you have a Windows, this may look slightly different. Once the Team Viewer has installed, we can now open the application. So let's open up the team viewer here. And so we do need to create an account before we can proceed. Once you have signed in, let's just click on continue until we see launch. And we see the remote actions here. And before we proceed, we need to click on set up remote access. And we'll click on continue. Assign device to my account. And we'll click on start team viewer with system. And now we should see a team viewer icon here. On the windows, this icon will show at the bottom right hand side. On Mac, it's at the top right hand side. So let's go back into the team viewer here. And we're going to sign back into our account. And so we're going to see here create a session. Let's click on this one. And we're going to click on connect to a team viewer ID. And now you can see your ID and password. So for the sake of the video, you can see the information, but make sure you don't share this with anyone who you don't want to access your computer. After this video is done, I will be, you know, changing this information. So now on the device itself, you just enter in the ID and password you see. So for me, this is the ID, of course for you it will be different and you have the option to do a full remote control or we'll just file transfer. And we need an account so let's just sign in to the same accounts which we used on the computer. So now we signed in, we can now enter in the information and let's select remote control. And so it's now going to connect. Uh, we just need to enter in the password. And again, make sure you only share this if you trust the person you're sharing this with. Of course, if you're sharing to yourself, then of course, hopefully you do trust yourself. So here we are, we are in the remote control. This is the trackpad. And you can see we can control the computer here. And you have the keyboard, if you need the keyboard for all these functions that you can play with. And you have the settings, if you want to change the settings here as well, such as quality, resolution, you know, having your wallpaper or not. And so there we go. At any time, just tap on the X to close out of the session. And with that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, Please do check the description. Bye-bye.